everyone. Cheers for being here. Cheers for watching again. Uh, so yeah, today is a, a brand new day. I uh, was a bit successful on the herping trip last night, which was nice. Uh, not in the sense of seeing snakes, but otherwise there was, yeah, ring-tailed geckos, three of those, blue tongue skink, and then uh, yeah, a couple of millipedes, big millipedes, which were, were quite cool as well. So just woke up. It's, uh, my watch is an omba. It's about 6.30 or something. Uh, the sun is, yeah, as you've seen, just rising over there. Moon's still big and bright in the sky up there. So yeah, hopefully tonight's a bit better for herping. We'll have to see how we go. Uh, yeah, I really don't know about that moon, but can only try and, and yeah, see what happens. So plan for today is, uh, yeah, head back out through Chiligo, go to the rampant section of the uh, Chilago National Park. And then I've got my guided tour. I've got, uh, yeah, more rock art sites, more, well, a rock, another rock art site, another cave, I think another two caves to go through, uh, to go for a look. And, uh, and yeah, and then just basically, yeah, look through the national parks for some, some reptiles, mammals, birds, whatever animals I can find really, uh, is whatever I'm, I'm keen on. So yeah, uh, that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, I got a full day ahead which will be sweet. I might even try and, yeah, I might have enough time to span out from Chiligo and, and see what's around. Uh, yeah, a bit further, but yeah, until then, cheers for being here, appreciate it. That's the plan, let's get to it. So I am at the rampant, rampant uh, section of the Chilago National Park at the moment. So I'm just going up this sort of bush track. It is half worn. Uh, I'm not sure if you're allowed up here, but otherwise I've seen photographs of people up here. There's no sign saying don't come up here or stick to the paths and that kind of stuff. And obviously if there's no signs, you don't always do whatever the hell you want just because no one said don't do it. But uh, there was a track leading up, like a, a dirt road to a little, uh, yeah, an established dirt road, sort of half full drive track, a little moan section where you can park, and then this sort of bush track up. So I'm assuming you're allowed to go for a bit of a walk around and a look up here. So it does look incredible, this rock formation, and there's like a little lookout area. So that's where we're heading up to at the moment. Look at that, just sort of wedged in between each other. So yeah, this is oof, getting really good. This is as you're coming into Chilago from the east. Oh, beautiful. Wow. So yeah, coming in from the east and it says, uh, yeah, rampant section. If you don't have a four wheel drive, there's a little park down the bottom and it's not really that long of a walk, maybe like a five minute walk. Up a half decent track. And yeah, and then you can get here. Wicked, wicked little cave. Oh my God, there's drawings. Wow, so all on the ceiling, there's uh, drawings, which I would assume would be indigenous drawings, not just someone's come up here and messing around, although you don't know, someone could have done that, uh, or someone has done it, but whether it's indigenous or, or not, you don't know. But what an excellent place to do it. This little sort of natural, alcove protected from the rain you got your drawings and then you're looking out over this view absolutely incredible 
and I will have to come up here for sunset, sunrise, I mean tomorrow. So the sun's just out that way. It would be absolutely stellar to watch it rise. Um, a bit too late today. Over at that, uh, that scape. Look. Just like all savannah country, and then just out of nowhere, just these huge monoliths, almost, just rising out of the ground. I wonder if the birds appreciate what they're seeing, or whether it's just like they've become just, yeah, accustomed to it, like it's, they're taking it for granted because they see it every day, whereas I'm like, wow, look at this. The magpies and all that that I've seen heaps of, they just perch up on top of these, these cliffs and just see this every day. It's probably normal to them. Do the birds get enjoyment out of seeing beautiful natural wonders like this? Well, because it's their everyday life, do they just not care or do they have the capacity? So many questions, so many questions. But, oh, look at this, absolutely incredible. climbing at the moment so oh, trying to get a grip with uh yeah i know what's going on there's the the uh lookout with the uh the cave and the, the rock paintings over there so the car's just down there and i've just traversed through the the bush and up uh this mountain or the mountain this sort of rock pillar because it looks like it's going to be a nice vantage point might even get to the top of that one don't know go out there as well so I've got a few hours before uh, my my guided cave tour sorry this is a bit, a bit awkward I've got a few hours before my guided cave tour look at that Ooh. and I thought I'd just go and uh, and try and look for some some wicked stuff uh, and this is, yeah, the beginnings of it. So there's a few birds getting around. Australian magpie cruising through there. There's some a uh, bar-shouldered doves that were cruising around. A crested pigeon. Yeah, a heap of blue-faced honey eaters. There's that crested pigeon. A couple of them cruising. Beautiful. I know who's calling. Who's cool that is. They are just in the bushes. I can go check. But yeah, so that's where we're at absolutely stellar views around all these parts Whoa, look at that brilliant i might even come across some cool reptiles as i'm cruising around here but don't know we'll have to wait and see but anyway this is just like going to be a bit of a yeah do whatever until uh yeah the guided tour and then i'm going to head out to the uh yeah the rock art sites and, and all that kind of stuff so but uh yeah look at that how incredible self crested cockatoo as well out there. All right, so sitting here has been insanely good. So just like, yeah, up on my, my rock, sitting here just, yeah, in awe. Look at look at what I'm looking at. Just incredible. 8:30 in the morning. Nothing else but me, the bush, the birds. Absolutely incredible. So what I've heard in the last 10 minutes or so and seen, there's been a couple of red wing parrots uh, cruise through, a couple of pale-headed rosellas. You've got um, great bower birds down there, helmeted friar birds. Also, uh, what else have I seen? I think that's, oh yeah, so I've already said everything else. And uh, yeah, 
oh it's incredible just to sit here and yeah ponder life on top of a, a cliff uh a rock me a formation whatever no one else is here it's ah it's so refreshing it's just amazing And yeah, I can't stress enough, try and try and get out and, and do stuff like, I guess I feel really passionate and this is what recharges me and makes me feel great. So I really want to push that onto other people and try and encourage you and inspire you in, in potentially to get out there and, and do what I'm doing. But otherwise do what recharges you, whether you, yeah, you sit alone and read a book, whether you catch up with friends and, and go and have a coffee or something like that, do something that recharges you uh, and just makes you feel alive. Uh, yeah. They, it's, oh, I can't stress enough. Just, uh, yeah, experience life. Do what makes you happy. It could be getting out. It could be going to a big city, walking through a museum. It could be anything like that. You don't have to get out into bush. You just have to do what makes you happy, what recharges you, and far out what an experience it's been for me and what a difference actually getting out there makes and, uh, and recharging yourself. Especially if you're starting to feel a bit drained and exhausted with life. So I've just rocked up at the archways, which is uh, the one just out of Chilago, uh, about 15 k's out. So this is this is where you've got an indigenous rock art site and you've got sort of a semi-open cave system that says really easy uh, in comparison to the other caves uh, that were, yeah, more difficult. So it's, uh, yeah, it's quite nice. Or I haven't got there, I don't think, just yet. I'm just on the path in. You can see there's huge mountains just there. I assume it'll be those archways that I'll be walking through. But uh, yeah, so I just finished my cave tour before I come here, my uh, guided cave tour, as opposed to these ones being the self-guided. So that was pretty good. Um, it was $30 to do the cave tour. Uh, $30, yeah, maybe a bit too expensive. Uh, it wasn't, like it was nice, it was really informative. Uh, it was good to le learn a lot about the, uh, yeah, the, the town and, and the caves and that kind of stuff. But it was a really big and beautiful cave with a lot of formations. But otherwise, uh, yeah, 30 bucks probably a bit bit expensive for for what it was but it was really nice so there you go uh, and considering when the self-guided tours are are quite cool you don't see as many formations however through the self-guided caves 
is probably obvious because there's a lot more people going through and um yeah they're really strict about staying to paths and not touching stuff and, and a yeah far larger cave it was a 45 minute tour though so anyway it was uh probably almost worth it but 30 dollars was yeah maybe just a bit too much but anyway here we are at the archways how beautiful look at this just walked into this range and now i'm just dwarfed by these overhangs absolutely beautiful so apparently from what the guide said or the ranger said there's about 629 i think he said uh registered caves within this area so there's yep yeah, three you pay for three you can self-guide yourself in this is included this is one of the self-guided caves um but yeah 629 in total so the cave systems here are incredible um how much there must be this place is uh yeah it was uh, as i mentioned before uh, a shallow sea apparently and then there's been like volcanic action going through here limestone has been worn away and then yeah you're creating these yeah cave systems just all through the place so it is uh, yeah really a geologically uh yeah rich in awesomeness i guess is the best way i can describe it but this is uh yeah a very very beautiful place chilago chilago whatever oh little skink has got himself a, a grub a little caterpillar good on you buddy so yeah, absolutely incredible place. Very, very beautiful, as you can uh, well see. But enough with the, the ramblings and that kind of stuff. I'm sort of just like going around in awe myself and then not making a lot of sense or just talking absolute ramblings. But I'll just be quiet. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll let the videos do the talking and, uh, and show you just how much you can appreciate the beauty of this area.